Hi guys, I thought I would uh, record this video and take you through my fully converted Eldar Exodite army. I've been getting a lot of um, requests to do so on various uh, Facebook pages as I've been showing my conversions for the past year or so. So I thought I'm going to go through, uh, I'm going to go through all the models, um, what I've used to make them, um, what they are counts as in game. Uh, I'll start off with my fully painted stuff which is on the top shelf in front of you and then I shall go down to the bottom the shelf below which is the shelf of shame which is my current work in progress shelf so let's let's move on over and let's check out the models okay so first up we have uh, sorry if you can hear that banging that's me leaning against the radiator uh, these are my wraith lords so I have three of them in the army there, yeah, one, two, three. So I use these as Wraith Lords. They are converted from Seraphon Stegodons. Now, if you're thinking that basically all the lizardy type stuff is all Seraphon, um, with, with all the sort of Aztec imagery removed. Uh, that's where I get most of my uh, lizards and, and dragons from. Uh, so, yeah, so these are Seraphon uh, uh, Seraphon Stegodons. And I shall pick one up here. Now, the base is uh, from the Warwalker, I believe, and the Wraith Lord. So that's just like an Eldari one. Um, this top part here, that's from the neck of the Wraith Knight. And then the weapons are from support weapons and the mountings. And I believe the side parts that clip on to the side there... Uh, I think they are all. They are from the underneath of the support platform. That's what holds up the seat in the um, the shield, uh, armed with star cannon and bright lance, which I found uh, to be one of the best uh, loadouts for them. Uh, they'll also have um, twin, uh, not twin, uh, one shuriken catapult and one flamer as well, just for for Overwatch purposes. They will go on the top there. That's what these mounting points are for there. So they are my ray lords. Let's go to the back there. As you can see, I've got uh, one and two and three flyers there. So they are all um, Seraphon troglodons. Um, not much in the way of actual... I haven't actually converted the lizards themselves, really. I've removed some of the Aztec uh, and sort of like the, the, the imagery on the back on the tail sections there. Uh, they've all had wings added, wings from various dragons. I think that's from the High Elf Dragon, um, Dark Elf Dragon, and that's from a very old metal wyvern with the plastic. They're the old plastic, um, plastic dragon wings there. So, uh, what who what, what are they then? So these are um, oh I've forgotten the name of them. Uh, so that one's a Crimson Hunter. That's a Crimson Hunter Exodite. Uh, which he'll have to have the two bright lances mounted in there. Um, so yep, so I thought you know make him a red 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 dragon. So why not? And then those ones are I can't think of the name of them. They're the, the psychic ones. I'm sure someone will let me know in the um, in the comments below. Um, I could go and get the codex, but I can't. It's it's behind me in my book in my bookshelf. So so there we go. Uh, so yeah, so there are my flies. As you can see, the base is started off uh, being made out just out of cork and stuff. And then as I've progressed on, the Crimson Hunter, which is my most recent model, uh, that's all made out of um, Woodland Scenic's rock mould. So I'm going to go back uh, and I'm going to redo the bases on the other two just to bring them in line. Uh, next off, we have uh, these Bacillod Bastillodons. Uh, again, Bastillodons from the Seraphon range. Now, these are what I use as um, sort of uh, falcon slash wave serpent slash fryer prism um uh, base units that's why the, the bases are quite big the bases are there to represent the size of the falcon chassis so these are fire prisms uh so yeah standard bastillodon but i haven't glued on any of the lizard and iconography uh you've got these sort of i don't know what you'd call them um uh, sensors i guess they're from uh, the wraith knight kit so are these these are also from the wraith knight kit these sort of outriggers there they had a bit to go around the wrists uh, and then it's it's a, it's just a straightforward uh, weapons platform on the top there, not really changed much. And then the weapon is again from the Wraith Knight. Uh, and then with a the crystal, I found a bag of these on um, on Amazon or eBay, one of the two. So that's those. I've got two of those there. Uh, moving on, let's just move this Bastillon out of the way. There you go. There we go. You can go over there. 
Uh, to the back there, they are my support platforms. Uh, so they're currently armed with D cannons. They are, I'll just grab one over here. So these are the old style cold one. Um, before they redid them into the nice sort of sleeker raptor looking one. Uh, I get the the sort of gun carriage here. They are the gun shields from Falcons, uh, that kind of thing. They go over the weapons. Um, the back section there is actually a foot from uh, a war walker. Uh, and I think uh, these are just various Eldari spines that are from most Eldar kits. Um, support, uh, yeah, support plat not the support platform, but the gun platform you get in um, Guardian kits. For the gun mount, and then just a slapped on a D cannon there from the support platforms. So I've got three of those. They they have got handlers. Um, it's sort of like you know, um, and they all be or uh, they're actually on the bottom of the below shelf. Um, they're in the they're in the unfinished shelf of shame. Next over is my little scout uh, war walkery dreadnought. Um, not sure what I'm going to use this for as yet. Um, it's based on a design made by a friend of mine called Rupert Hamilton Fraser years ago. It was in the old Citadel Journal. Uh, and I've just given it a bit of an upgrade. I've given it the Wraith Knight's head and a new weapon system. Um, a new scatter laser. And I gave it the classic colour scheme from Rogue Trader. That was the Mercenaries classic colour scheme, which was like the really, really dark blue, almost black armour. And then sort of like the turquoisey head with the magenta stripes. So yeah, they were that was the old colours for mercenaries. And what I'm probably going to do is when I add some dire avengers to this army, they will be in the same colour scheme, and they will be like a little mercenary team, which I think will be fitting quite nicely. Okay, then moving over to the last section of the fully painted stuff is my HQ section. So first up, uh, I think. Some people have probably seen this. It's been posted various places. There's a little rotary video of it in, in my playlist. But this is my Exodite Lord on jet bike, uh, Farsia. Uh, so anything on these cold ones, on this style of cold one, this little new uh, sort of dark elf cold ones, uh, they are all classed as jet bikes. So anything on one of those is, is classed as a jet bike. So yeah, that's my. Uh, Farseer, uh, I believe the that section there is from the old dragon. Um, the, that was on the base of the old high elf dragon. And I've got a couple of warlocks here. These were made from some of the uh, wood elf uh, wayfinders. Way what? I can't remember the name of them, but I think they make quite good um, warlocks there. Giving them a red color scheme to stand out because the color scheme, because of the rest of the arm is quite turquoisey. I gave them a um, color scheme for them to stand out. And these are dark elf, uh, dark elder helmets, mainly found on jet bike kits and that kind of thing. But I just think I like the blank expressions on them. It gives them that kind of of a worldly, uh, they, you know, they don't need sight um, and they don't need to speak. They can do it all psychically. And then I've just got a couple on uh, on cold ones, which are on, on my jet bikes. Um, uh, at the top, the torso is from the old plastic jet bike. Heads from the Dark Eldar again. Arms from various high elf kits, uh, wizards um, and heroes. And the legs are from the high elf dragon mage. Um, wish I could get some more older, more of these, uh, but they are super rare and super expensive uh, at the moment. I may, I've got a couple of I've got a couple of sets of um, high elf. Silverhelm legs. I might see if I, with a bit of green stuff, could convert them into similar, similar sort of um, legs there, so I can make some more warlocks on jet bikes. Okay, and then down to the shelf of shame. Now these are my counts as uh, rangers. Uh, I've got three units of five there. Uh, bit of a damage there and you'll notice that most of them are missing heads. Um, that's because I didn't really like the bare heads. Um, I'm, this army was finished off for a tournament last year and I need to go back and, uh, and highlight a few bits tidy up a few bits and I didn't like the bear heads I want to give them uh, turquoise uh, guardian helmets which I've got, they just need adding on um, we'll shoot over to here, quickly pass that guy we'll, go, we'll talk to that, about that guy later uh, another work in progress warlock there uh, these items on the bases these are my um, objective markers, so I've got Two there, two there, and then there's one there and one there. So we've got six objective markers. Uh, the guys in the back there, these are the handlers or, you know, uh, gunners for the support platforms, for, for those support platforms. 
So again, they're made from that same uh, Wood Elf kit. Um, I can't remember for the life of me. No, no, no I do, do apologise. So they're from the Wood Elf kit, and they've got the little gunnery thing there from the uh, support platform you get with the Guardians. Uh, there's another Bastilodon in the background there. Sorry for the sniff. I no, I suffer from hay fever, uh, and it's kicking me in the face a little bit. So another Bastilodon. Let's move that out of the way. Another Bastilodon work in progress there. So that'll probably be another fire prison. So then I can do the sort of user strategy where they all fire at the same target, which is pretty cool. And then down here, uh, these are my work in progress uh, shining spears. Uh, I found them to be pretty decent. I know some of them look like they're riding high. That's because they're not fixed to the, the dragons. They're they they're right there. They they are made like that at the moment, so they can be easily removed. And um, so for painting, uh, that's the exarch there. She has the star lance. Uh, the lances themselves are just the ones from the um, uh, Dire Avenger Exarch sprue. Uh, legs are from Dark Eldar Jet Bikers. Torsos are from High Elves. I think primarily from the Skycutter, the one the Eagle pulling the boat. Uh, and the Catasurian Catapults are from Dire Avengers. And then the helmets are from the support platforms and Warwalkers. They've got that sort of bulbous cheek. Um, look to them, which I quite liked. Uh, yeah, so it kind of they look kind of remind me a little bit of Manda Blasters, kind of like a venom spitting fire spitting I don't know dragony thing. And last but not Naomi's least, excuse me, sorry, but apologies for the sniff. Is my great Sauron. Uh, so this is the Lizard Man, great Saurus or Sauron. Uh, again, I've removed all the iconography and then green stuffed it all and re-sculpted scales and and that kind of thing. And then I've added some uh, stuff items from the Wraith Knight to make up like a kind of head crest. These are from the Warwalker. Uh, that's just like a little gem bead I found in the pound shop. And then like this little gun carriage at the back here. Uh, that's made from a falcon, uh, Wraith Knight spines, uh, Warwalker. And torso and guns. There will be another gun that goes on in this side, and then round here. If I can just do this without knocking everything over. This is the um, sort of shield generator. So I'm going to use this as kind of I think it's a cobra or a scorpion. I can't remember what the super heavy is called. Uh, so this is it looks sort of like shield generator here again. Oh, there's a little hair there. Get rid of that. Again, the shield is from uh, a wraith knight, and then there's various. Other MacGuffins uh, added on there. And then not these sort of banners, wispy banners down here. They're from High of Banners. Uh, so, yeah. So, that, oh, in the background there, that is a um, just a Tyrannosaurus Rex's head uh, from one well, of those magazines, you know, build a Tyrannosaurus in 27 years. And it costs you £900. But the first issue is always a pound. And they come with T-Rex heads. So, I've got one over there and I've got another one elsewhere. So that's that, guys. That is my Eldar Exodite army. Uh, if you have any more questions, please uh, feel free to post them in the comments below. Uh, I'll happily answer all questions of like how I've done it, how long it's taken me to do, why I'm doing it. And that is that. Let's just pan out then for a bit of another, another shot. Uh, there we go. So that is the full army at the moment. Ooh, I could probably, uh, with upgrades and this, that, and the other, this probably chocks in at about 2,500 points at the moment. Um, loads more to go. Uh, I've got a, a, the psychic um, Stegonon I want to do. Loads of stuff. Striking scorpions, uh, fire dragons, you know, all the aspects I want to do. I want to get, get um, a tree, giant tree man to use as an avatar. So loads of stuff to go with this. Um, if you have seen some sneaky peeks of what's above and below, um, I will. if you want to see them, close-ups of those. Uh, one of them is my shelf of shame and one of them is my uh, shelf of orcs. Uh, I'll happily do a video for that. Okay, guys, thank you for watching. Uh, hopefully this hasn't been too long and you've watched to the end. Uh, like, share, and subscribe if you think other people will like to see this stuff as well. Okay, guys, take care. Uh, carry on painting. See you soon.